Hey, hey, hey guys, it's me, Santa Shaggy, and it's that time. In fact, we're almost running out of time. It's, it's getting closer and closer. It's, it's the time for the advent calendar of the day. But yeah, we're running out of time, man. We're a whole, so let's check the chimney counter, and let's check the block counter. Then I've got a couple of, a couple of announcements to make. And then I got to get busy because the boss is going to swing by here any minute now and pick up some of his last loads from the elves that are working back behind the scenes. Oh, wait a second. I'm, I'm just wasting time now telling you about it. So let's go ahead. Let's check the chimney counter. <laughs> yeah, let's check it. It says it's the 22nd. Is it the 22nd? No, it's not. So let's get that brick out of there. Let's, let's pull it from this side. You ready? Three, two, one. We'll pull it into slow motion this time. Whoa, bonk. Yep. Hey, bounced off his bum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. There's not very many more bricks left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So that means we need to check the block counter now. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check it. It says there are two days. Two days. That would explain the, explain the two bricks left in the fire in chimney put counter. But two days, man. Two days. Two days. That means tomorrow, Santa Claus will be doing his thing. Oh, in fact, that brings up a good point. But because due to the time zone, the boss man will be taking off in like 10 hours, man. Oh, that's why he's coming by. He's got to stop by real quick to pick up all the stuff. 10 hours, or roughly 10 hours, he'll be taking off. I can't believe it. Oh, come back about 5 o'clock our time. That's well, about 4 or 5 o'clock. I can't remember what time he exactly takes off. But we will update you on the page as much as we possibly can. If I'm still awake, I've got to try to stay up because it's so exciting to see him take off. Oh, well, it's, crew Land's just right down the way from the North Poles. So we usually go out and watch him take off. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Oh boy, two days, two days till Christmas. Oh, we've been waiting for that. Also, I've got a couple more announcements, but I can't remember what they were. Let me think. Um, what? Oh, oh, all these bells, they reminded me. <laughs> yeah, there's something really cool that's going to be going on tomorrow night in every time zone at 6 o'clock, whatever time zone you live in, at 6 p.m., everybody needs to go all out on your porch with the bells I'm going to use jingle bells. You can use whatever kind of bells you want. And for like a minute or two, just ring and ring and ring and ring and ring. And we'll kind of bring us all together as a community because this year kind of stunk. <laughs> yeah, but you just ring your bell, ring your bell, ring your bell, ring your bell. And, and, and Santa Claus will be able to hear it and that will guide him towards your house. Oh boy. And that will make him smile too. <laughs> he wants to hear them jingle bells. I know I'll be doing it. I'll try to get it on video, but I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to. Um, I'll be with a group of people, and who knows what's going to happen. So, everybody get out and ring your bells. Ring, 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 ring. Yeah, yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, yeah. And then Santa Claus will be able to hear you, and he'll come to your house. Also, I've got another thing that, that I almost forgot to do this year. I was reminded of it because some of my buddies... But I was encouraged to last year. The last couple of years, we've done a read by the fireplace. And I'm going to do it again this year. I was inspired by one of my buddies down there in Idaho. Last year, read this on his page. And I thought, man, that's a cute book. So I went out after the season last year, and I bought me a copy of it. And we're going to read it tomorrow by the fireplace. I'm going to light, light a fire right here. I'm going to pull up a chair, or I'll sit on the floor, one of the two. And we're going to read... Oh, you're wondering what book it is? Oh, my book came looks kind of special. His, he had a big, big version of the book. I've got a smaller version, but mine came with an elf. <laughs> We're going to read the book, How to Catch an Elf, by, it's a, uh, from New York bestseller team, Adam Wallach, is it Wally, or Wallace, Wally, yeah, Adam Wally, and Andy Elkerton, Elkerton. I'll probably butcher those names, and I am totally sorry. But mine came with a little elf. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to read this book. I'll open it real quick. Give you kind of a sneak peek. Uh, let's see. Let's open to that page. Oh, there's Santa Claus. <laughs> but anyway, it's How to Catch an Elf. Come back tomorrow at some point during the evening. We'll be reading this before it's bedtime. So Santa Claus will be out of the way. So Santa Claus can do his thing. 
Oh, but I'm gonna we're gonna sit here in front of the fireplace and we're gonna read like we have in the past. Yeah, I'll set this right here on the way, and I think that's all the announcements. Oh, speaking of jingle bells, there's one right there. <laughs> yeah, but you guys do your thing tomorrow. Make sure Santa Claus can find you. Stay nice because it's not too late to get knocked off that list, <laughs> and it's not too not no, not too long. Not too late to join the nice list. So, anyway, you guys be good out there. And I need to get back to work because Santa Claus will be here any minute now to pick up the last load. And I've got to be ready with the, the clipboard and everything. So, until next time, I shall see ya. Shaggy! Ow!